Hello, Claudio here for BasicSpot.com. In this tutorial, I will show you how to place a spaceship on your own footage. The spaceship is, as you know, like the District 9 movie spaceships, and this is my final composition. Okay, it's really simple uh, and, uh, and easy. So let's get started. Uh, first, drag your footage to a new comp. Mine is here already. So if you, if you can see my footage, will not need uh, too much effort for my part because it's, it's really straight. But I have to... Uh, stabilize uh, uh, track my motion so let me show you how to do that with your footage selected uh, first uh, we need to drag our spaceship to our um, composition stage so right here is mine it's really big so let's just play with size think like that is really good okay and uh just playing with the lights okay I think it's pretty good then uh, select your uh, mountain footage, my case, and uh, uh, drag the time and uh, indicator to the first keyframe and go to the tracker. If you don't see the tracker in your stage, just go to window and select tracker or go to the workspace and select the motion tracking. So, again, with the footage selected, click on track motion. We're, not, we're just going to use the position, track the position. So, uh, grab your tracker point to a contract point on your footage. Mine, right here, I just choose this big because there's a lot of contrast and, and it's easy to uh, track. Uh, and, and also I'm not going to play with the resizing it because uh, like that is really good. I already did it so uh, that is that is the, the perfect point to, to do it. Uh, then just analyze forward. Okay, um, then uh, go to Edit Target and make sure that your spaceship, mine is a PSD file, is uh, selected. Click OK and then apply X and Y. Click OK and um, Okay, right there is my spaceship, so let's see what uh, we have here. So uh, we need to uh, move our spaceship because it's not centered. So uh, go to the anchor point and just move it. Let's see now. I think it's really nice right there. Okay. So let me make a round preview to see the final.
really nice perfect place to uh, to get your spaceship now just just uh, to uh, refine our spaceship let's get just uh, select the spaceship and go to effect um, I'm sorry uh, we will need to match uh, our footage a color with our spaceship to make it realistic and and and, and become the same uh, footage. So uh, select your footage, go to effect, color correction, and um, I'm not going to use the photo filter. Let's just get the levels and in your effect control. Select the red uh, and choose a, choose a uh, red one. Not too much. Not too much. Okay, and some green. Got some much. Looks pretty good for me. Uh, and uh, go to edit, copy, select your spaceship, edit, and paste it. Now we have same colors on our footage. So uh, looks much, much better. Okay, uh, last thing. We will need to uh, kind of blur. Uh, this section of the spaceship because it's too sharp. You can just play uh, with your uh, image, your spaceship image, in Photoshop or whatever um, to make it realistic to your eyes. Okay, so um, we'll using select the spaceship and select the pencil. Just. Right, some lines doesn't have to be perfect because it's just for Frederick. Then uh, select your spaceship, click MM to get the mask and uh, select inverted. Then go to the feather and just feather out. Uh, it's too much, too much. Okay, pretty good. And uh, select your selection tool. And just move it down because it's too much. It's a clear day, there's no cloud. So, Well, I think like that is pretty good. Okay. So now, let's see what we have here. So brand preview. Right, looks pretty good. And I hope you like it, guys. Um, my name is Claudio for BasicSpot.com, and I will see you in another tutorial for Adobe After Effects CS4.